What is up investors and welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show. I'm your host, Everything Crypto, here to bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets. Now, as always, please remember that nothing on this channel is financial advice. These videos are for viewer education and entertainment purposes only. So please invest responsibly as I want this community to thrive in the long run and I love and appreciate you all. And on that note, we have a ton to get through in today's CrowCoin update. We got to talk about the Canada crypto crackdown that has been going on. We got to talk about some secret layoff rumors at Crypto.com, as well as some new regulatory approval, some massive platform upgrades, and official confirmation of a Kronos Metaverse roadmap that is on the way. So definitely tons to get through in this video. And without further ado, it is time to sit back, relax, grab that morning cup of joe, and enjoy the show. Now, if you have not yet hit that sub and like button, please consider doing so and joining the Everything Crypto Squad, as the goal of this channel is to bring you all of the news that you need to know on a daily basis to keep you up to speed on what is going on in these wild markets. Now, I am still on vacation. I will be away until August 25th, but I am already looking forward to getting back and getting back into the regular crypto market updates. And on that note, we are going to just hop right into the content here. Starting off with Ontario crypto exchanges imposing a $30,000 annual limit on altcoin buys. Now, as both a Canadian citizen and an avid crypto investor, this is definitely very concerning and does really defeat the entire purpose of crypto, which is meant to give true ownership and freedom of our financial assets. And the government is trying to phrase this as they are intending to quote unquote protect crypto investors and make them more aware of the risks which is highly hypocritical in my opinion, as they can still allow you to buy an infinite amount of penny stocks on the NEO exchange, which have much smaller market caps and are a lot more risky than a ton of these other altcoins in the crypto market. Now, fortunately, they did actually exclude a couple of cryptos from this buy restriction, and that would include a Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. So clearly, whoever did make these regulations has not been around in crypto since the previous bull market. And I think it just really goes to show you how out of touch they are with the crypto market as a whole. So definitely very, very disappointed to see these changes. However, there is a ton of misinformation going around on exactly what these changes are. So I do want to clarify this real quick. And the first thing that we need to know is that it is per platform and not per individual. So basically, if you have reached that $30,000 cap on one Canadian centralized exchange, you can then go to another Canadian centralized exchange and do the 30,000 cap on that one as well. So really all they're doing it here is just making it a lot more difficult and disincentivizing people from buying over that $30,000 cap. And it only applies to centralized exchanges. They have said nothing about DEXs yet. So that means that potentially there still will be an infinite cap through DeFi. And in my opinion, these changes as a whole are just incredibly unnecessary and just make us jump through extra hoops to actually buy over this $30,000 cap. So very, very disappointing. I really did believe that Canada was ahead of crypto innovation and very crypto friendly, but this new set of rules is definitely a setback and I am very proud to be a Canadian citizen, but I am not afraid to say that these changes are absolute BS. So I just wanted to bring that out there in case you are a Canadian citizen. And even if you are not, the Canadian market is still definitely very important to crypto. So definitely something to be aware of. And at the same time that these rules did come out, Crypto.com did share that they are the first global crypto platform to sign an undertaking with the Canada Ontario Securities Commission to provide a safe and compliant crypto platform to Canadian customers. Now, what I'm wondering is if in the near future, they are going to have to implement this $30,000 cap on altcoins, including their very own crow coin, if they are now registered with the OSC. And that is definitely something that I will be keeping an eye on. And at the same time that they did announce this Canadian regulation, they also did announce registration approval from UK's Financial Conduct Authority, as UK does work to become a global crypto hub. So just in the past two months alone, we have seen Crypto.com be compliant with Canada, with the UK, with Italy, with South Korea, and with Cyprus. So they continue to build throughout this bear market to enter the next bull market on a much stronger foot. However, this bear market could still persist for quite a while longer. So while it is important that Crypto.com does continue to build, they also do need to really optimize their balance sheet to make sure they can sustain themselves into the next bull run. And that is why it is being rumored that Crypto.com has done a second round of layoffs that have not been announced yet. So a couple of anonymous sources did actually speak to Decrypt here, which is a crypto news source. 
and they basically said that despite the announcement that crypto.com laid off 260 employees or about five percent of its workforce they have made a ton of other employee cuts in the meantime that have not been publicly announced now what is more concerning about this is the fact that the first round of layoffs were for much more elastic roles like customer service and growth roles employees that were less in demand as customer numbers and trading volume on the platform fell but this round the sources said affected people from critical product roles like the crypto.com exchange the crypto.com app and the crypto.com DeFi wallet cost cutting is becoming a top priority at crypto.com as they did actually bring on about 45 percent of their employee base in 2021 and 2022 so based on what these sources have told the crypt the massive hiring was intended for growth and the majority of these employees about 1300 staff are not needed anymore in the current context and now the business is doing the exact opposite and cutting down to the bare minimum to survive the likely long bear market save every penny and really optimize that balance sheet now there has been a lot of fud surrounding these secret layoffs a lot of people are concerned about crypto.com as a whole and personally i am not while it definitely is unfortunate to see these layoffs occur and if you were impacted by these layoffs i do sincerely hope that you get back on your feet very soon and find another job however looking at this from the perspective of a crow coin investor and a big believer in the crypto.com platform i think this just speaks to the team's ability to move incredibly quick and really onboard employees for massive growth in the bull run and then cut back costs in the bear run so definitely unfortunate if these rumors do turn out to be true but i do not think it is bearish for crypto.com i just think the team is doing what is necessary for the long-term sustainability of the platform the same way that we talked about the crypto earn changes earlier in the year that a lot of people were upset about and it did ring to be very very important for them to make these earn cuts for sustainability and i see this as the same thing going on right now so once again very unfortunate for those that were impacted but long term bigger picture i am not concerned about crypto.com or the platform as a whole now we have a lot of proof here that they have been continuing to build and the first thing we got was a community and roadmap update for the loaded lions and this directly ties in to the chronos chain metaverse that will be coming soon now if you've been with the channel for a while this would not come as a surprise to you we actually made our very first video breaking down all of these connections back here in may earlier this year we basically talked about the loaded lions and game five connections the chronos play platform we talked about the crypto.com white paper and the metaverse hints as well as the cyber cub image here where there were a ton of hints dropped in the background so we've definitely been calling for this for a while we now have an official announcement and you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for this as it is going to be very very important to the future of the chronos chain in my opinion so we're going to go down here to the three pillars they are looking to update in this roadmap and the first one is the crypto.com ecosystem so as a loaded lion holder you can expect more crypto.com nft benefits more crypto.com collaborations as well as some potential crypto.com app benefits now what this could look like is potentially maybe some lower fees on the main app or maybe some additional yield on the visa or the crypto earn program and in my opinion this would be highly incentivizing for everyone to buy a loaded lion and once again crypto.com is looking to have 100 million users by next year and there are only 10,000 lions out there up for grabs that is why i personally did buy mine a couple months back unfortunately this was at a much higher price than they are selling for right now as the bear market has really done its number on nfts as well but do remember that loaded lions hold a unique position in the nft space as the first and only native platform owned pfp project there is only ever going to be one original crypto.com nft and that is the loaded lions so they can make these main app incentives very juicy for loaded lion holders i really do believe that a ton of people are going to want to get their hands on them and 10,000 supply with 100 million users does equal demand and value so that is what i am looking forward to now the second pillar here is the chronos ecosystem they do cite how the chronos chain is the first evm compatible layer one blockchain built on the cosmos sdk supported by over 300 developers and partners now here is what main netizens can look forward to a loaded lions game no there was no typo in there stay tuned for more news about this interactive experience in the coming months ps get ready to snag some land so it definitely would appear that crypto.com is shaping up the lions to be big competitors to the board apes and the other side metaverse they have going on I could definitely expect in the next couple of months that we will get some sort of chronos land drop for the official loaded lions metaverse 
I will be trying to get my hands on some of that land, and I am incredibly hyped to see how this loaded Lions metaverse does shape up. Now they have, they do also have some main net grants here, community-led projects to further enhance the Loaded Lions ecosystem, where we will be able to brainstorm proposals and get ready to turn the ideas into reality. That is definitely something I would be interested in about actually submitting a proposal to really bolster the growth of the Loaded Lions metaverse. And last but not least, they're starting to explore potential partnerships and collaborations because the Loaded Lions and Cyber Cubs are now sharing the Web3 space with a ton of innovative projects on Kronos. And last but not least, they talk about the third pillar, which is the community, including in real life events, Loaded Lions hoodies, prizes, experiences, and more merchandise and community activities. Now, honestly, this is not something that I am too concerned with. I am mostly just looking at this Loaded Lions game, the incoming Kronosverse land, as well as some sort of play to earn aspect. They also do touch on the Cyber Cubs here as the Loaded Lions companions in the future. And by having a cub alongside our Lions, main netizens can get bumps in sweepstake rewards, merchandise perks, extra entries for campaigns, and much more. Now, here's a little TLDR chart of what exactly is coming soon. I will go ahead and share this on my Twitter so all you can take a look at it there. But suffice to say, I am incredibly hyped for the Loaded Lions metaverse. We've been waiting for this for quite a while, and it does look like things are finally starting to come to fruition over here. So this is just one aspect that they have been building in. Now, another thing they have done here is apparently they're going to be bringing the Crypto.com and Kronos NFTs to Twitter soon. So if this does play out, that means that within the next couple of months, the same way that you can actually feature an Ethereum NFT on your Twitter account, you will also be able to feature your Loaded Lion NFT on your Twitter account officially. Once again, very, very important for brand recognition that they are getting on platforms like Twitter and a lot of the crypto community is on Twitter. So I think this will once again, just drive a lot more adoption and awareness towards the lions. Now on the exchange side of things, and this is not to be confused with the crypto.com main app, the crypto.com exchange is effectively Coinbase's version of Coinbase Pro. This is meant to offer much lower trading fees to crypto investors. And Chris Marzalek, the CEO of crypto.com has announced a massive slash to the fees on the crypto.com exchange. They are really gearing up this exchange to be a serious competitor to Binance before they launch in the US. Now, the reason this is so important is because it is going to bring a ton of additional value to Crow, and we can actually see this based on the post on the official Crypto.com exchange site. So basically, they gave you up to an 80% fee reduction. Trading fees now start from under 1% at 0.075%, and you are able to attain 0% maker fees through the amount of Crow that you have staked. So if you have actually staked as little as 1,000 crow, you do receive additional trading fee benefits. If you stake at least 50,000 crow, you're going to get guaranteed 0% maker fees. And if you stake at least 100,000 crow, you will benefit from negative maker fees across all tiers. And what this means is that you will effectively get paid to trade if you are staking at least 100,000 crow. Now, in my opinion, this is going to drive a ton of institutions into Crow as the ability to actually save like 1% or even get paid to trade is going to be a very big deal for these institutions who are trading millions of dollars at a time, but they can only achieve this if they do stake their Crow coin. And in my opinion, this will incentivize a lot of them to lock up their Crow and stake it, which is very good for the price action and does incentivize long-term holders to join the ecosystem and not just buy that Crow, but to also hold it and not just flip it on every move to the upside. So effective immediately, the Crow staking rate has been updated from 10% down to 8%. These rate adjustments will not affect existing locked Crow stakes. However, I still think this is a massive net positive in my opinion as it is gonna make this a serious competitor to Binance. It is gonna bring a ton of people to the platform and incentivize big money players to lock up their crow. So I definitely think this was very intentional on behalf of the crypto.com team. They have been making a ton of upgrades to all of their products across the board. So now we've covered the Lions, the Kronosverse, the crypto.com exchange, and they have also made a slew of updates to the DeFi wallet. Now, we've been talking about this DeFi wallet for a long time here. I do believe that as soon as the SEC started clamping down on the centralized exchanges, that the DeFi wallet was going to become a lot more important with time. 
And it would appear that Crypto.com has definitely got the same idea in mind. Now, you can see here they did a ton of upgrades and you can take a look at all of the blockchains that are actually supported on the DeFi wallet, including the Crypto.org chain, Kronos, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cosmos, BNB, Near, Polkadot, Polygon, Ripple, Avalanche, C Chain. Like the list just goes on and on. There are a ton of options available on this DeFi wallet. They also introduced Moon River and Moonbeam, a new display for DeFi Earn to make it much more user friendly. They have a collection views for your NFTs. So they are really trying to just gear this up to be a massive competitor to MetaMask, along with that desktop wallet extension that was released a couple months back. So despite all of the FUD, all of the concerns, the Crypto.com team does continue to build out the platform and the underlying infrastructure. This also extends to their Crypto Pay feature. Now we've been keeping a very close eye on Crypto Pay ever since they did integrate with Shopify, allowing people to actually cash out on Shopify through their Crypto Pay feature. And now you can see they have partnered up with some very big players in the crypto space, including Unstoppable Domains to offer 2% cash back and Ledger to offer up to 10% cash back. And by the way, if you guys do not have a cold storage wallet, please, please get your hands on one just for your own safety and security. I have no referral link. I am saying this to ensure that the community stays safe and has true ownership of your assets. So definitely look into cold storage if you have not. And if you have crypto.com, you can cash out through crypto pay for up to 10% back. Now, not only this, but they did actually partner up with data mesh and OTR to launch Australia's first in-store cryptocurrency payments across more than 440 retail outlets. So they are really, really trying to push crypto pay as well. It's essentially like Apple Pay or Google Pay, but you can just tap your crypto.com app to an actual payment processor machine and you can pay via your crypto. So definitely another very important piece of infrastructure they are building out. And that's why I often compare the crypto.com main app to more, the, more of a bank as opposed to a trading platform as they just offer such a wide variety of services. Now here is the actual uh, video they did have for the integration. And you can see here that the person is simply opening up their crypto.com app. They're going over to crypto pay and boom, just like you would tap your visa, you just tap your crypto.com app and you have paid for your gas. So now at over 170 OTR outlets, you can use crypto pay directly in store. Once again, very, very big for driving adoption, for making this app very beginner friendly and really getting people comfortable with crypto.com and using crypto as a means of transaction. Now, personally, I will never pay for anything in my crypto. I would rather, rather use my fiat dollars, which tend to lose value over time because I believe that crypto is going to gain value over time. But we do have to acknowledge that this is still very important for just getting people onboarded and comfortable with crypto as a whole. And that is crypto.com's goal here is to really be that one stop shop for all of your crypto needs. I think they are doing a very good job of that. Now, getting more into some specific chrono stuff. We had a huge milestone update this week as we passed 900,000 unique wallet addresses on the Kronos chain. I do believe we will hit 1 million before the one year mark of Kronos does come around. And that is absolutely insane growth for the Kronos chain. And keep in mind that the Kronos chain was actually released in November of 2021, which does coincide with the exact top of the crypto market. So all of the rapid expansion and growth that has happened on the Kronos chain has been throughout a bear market. And I am very curious to see how this growth does pick up once we do enter a bull run again. And that is why I am so bullish on the Kronos chain for the long run as they have pretty much been unaffected by the bear market and continue to build. Now we're gonna get into some specifics with Kronos chain projects. And the first thing we gotta talk about here is MMF, which did actually go cross chain and launch on Polygon. And within just five days of its launch, they have now overtaken Aave as the top TVL platform on Polygon. So while it does not have a direct impact on the Kronos chain, MMF is still a very important part of the Kronos ecosystem. And really bringing more awareness to the Mad Meerkats could have a ripple effect onto the Kronos chain. So we definitely do want them to succeed on any chain that they do launch on. Now, it does appear that MMF is planning some very big partnerships. They stated here in a tweet that their team has just transferred their MMF token ownership into a multi-sig wallet in lieu and preparation of many big partnerships slated down the line. So definitely something that I will be keeping an eye on when it comes to this project. I'm not personally invested, but I do want to see them drive that adoption and growth to really help the Kronos chain as a secondary impact. 
Now we're gonna get into my favorite part of the weekly Kronos updates and take a look at the Kronos growth statistics here, starting off with the daily TVL growth rate of top blockchains ranked by total value locked. And you can see here that in first place is actually Solana with 5.38%. And coming in second place here is the Kronos chain with 2.63%. Polygon is right behind. And then you got Phantom, Tron, and Ethereum growing at a much slower pace. While BNB, Arbitrum, Optimism, and Avalanche actually saw a negative decline in TVL over the past month. And that is something that we will take a look at when we get into the DeFi Llama statistics. So definitely very nice to see the Kronos chain is still growing rapidly in terms of that TVL. Now we also got the monthly growth rate in social engagements of top centralized exchange tokens. And this month, Binance actually overthrew Crypto.com as the number one exchange token in terms of social engagements. This was for the month of July. They had a 31% growth rate, while Crow only came in at a 19.9% growth rate. And FTX coming in here at a 10.5% growth rate. So in my opinion, these are the big three exchanges that you do want to keep an eye on. Binance, Crypto.com, and FTX. I do believe that it is only a matter of time before Crow does overthrow Binance. However, Binance did definitely have a stronger month in terms of social engagement in July. But if we actually take a look at what has been going on in August here so far, Kronos has already overtaken BNB once again. And you can see here that we've seen an 82% increase in daily social engagement, while BNB has seen a 30% increase and ETH has seen a 28% increase. Now, the reason we take a look at the social engagement aspect is because the investment thesis with Crow is very simple. We believe that crypto.com will become the number one crypto platform. And for this to happen, we do need to see social awareness and engagement. So it is definitely very important to really gauge how people are becoming more and more aware of crypto.com, of Crow coin, and of the Kronos chain. Now, speaking of the social engagement, we got to take a look at not only the growth of the social engagement, but what are people actually saying about Crow? So what this chart basically tells you is of the Crow fam who's active on Twitter, what are they doing with their Crow? Are they buying? Are they holding? Are they selling? Or are they neutral? And what you're going to notice here is that 66.84% are buying, 22.54% are holding, 5.69% are selling and 4.66% remain neutral. So effectively 89% of people who are active on social media are actively buying or holding their crow with under 10% or just over 10% either selling or being neutral on the project. This is incredibly strong. And if you actually look at our previous social metric videos, this has been going up at a very slow pace, but nonetheless, it is creeping to the upside. And we have now finally reached almost 90% in terms of either buying or holding. And I would expect us to actually cross 90% in the coming weeks, especially as we have seen a slight dip in the markets, which might bring some new members into the Kronos ecosystem. And we also wanna take a look at the top dApps on Kronos by daily active users. And you're gonna notice here that VVS and MMF are still dominating the pack. VVS with 3.38K in daily active users, MMF with 3.33K, and then the BC who's bay well behind at 1.2k so vvs and mmf are by far the most influential projects on the chronos chain right now in my opinion and that is why it is important to make sure that they do maintain those daily active user counts now here is a look at the broader chronos ecosystem as a whole i really like to take a look at this because it does put things into perspective and show you just how far the chronos ecosystem has come in a short amount of time the chronos chain had just launched we were looking at maybe 15 to 20 names on this list and now we have give or take 100 projects here including dexes bridges launch pads community tokens yield farming and yield optimizers liquid staking solutions nft marketplaces chronos validators analytics and much, much more. We have stable swaps as well, which is a very important part of any blockchain in my opinion. So tons of expansion so far, and I will definitely be curious to see what this chart looks like another year from now. So we're gonna wrap things up here, taking a look at the Kronos total value locked and its rankings in comparison to other blockchains. And we are still sitting in seventh place. Now, if you take a look specifically at Kronos, we are down 8.44% in the past 24 hours. But in my opinion, that is not something to be concerned off as we have been seeing a broader market sell-off. And if we are still in seventh place, that means that it has been happening amongst all blockchains and not just the Kronos chain. 
Now, ironically, Polygon used to be a spot ahead of Kronos, but because MMF launched on Polygon, they actually increased their total value locked by about 33% from like 1.5 billion up to over 2 billion. So they've actually put Polygon well ahead of the race now by actually launching on the Polygon chain, which is definitely ironic because they did start on the Kronos chain. But regardless, Kronos is still sitting pretty in the top 10 here amongst all blockchains, which is very, very impressive for a chain that has not even yet hit its one year anniversary. And I do believe that over time, if Kronos does continue to build out the way that it has been, if we continue to see this rapid expansion and adoption of the ecosystem, that it is only a matter of time before we are an absolute staple in this top three, passing the Binance Smart Chain, passing Polygon, and potentially being second to Ethereum. So this is why I remain bullish on Crow, not only because of Crypto.com, but because of all the other projects that the token itself does power, including a lot of projects on the Kronos chain, the Crypto.org chain. And in fact, if you actually throw in the Crypto.org TVL in here, the total value locked for all Crow coin blockchains is actually much higher than this 976 million. So definitely something to keep in mind. And on that note, I hope you guys did enjoy this weekly Crow update. I'm going to get back to vacation and you can expect the crypto market updates to resume once I am back on the 26th. So thank you for tuning in and I'm wishing you all a peaceful and restful Sunday. Catch you in the next one.